All right, bad news. It's getting ready to replace the skirt. Uh, look at my past videos where I dropped R2 and I destroyed the skirt. I thought that the skirt and the utility arms were the extent of the damage. I have now got the replacement skirt assembled, painted, and I've just installed the switches. And I flipped R2 on its side, and I did not see this until just today. This matches up with the damage on the skirt. This is where it hit the concrete. And what I didn't see is that you can hear it cracking. The skirt smashed into this bottom piece and it cracked from, feels like about here, all the way up to here. Uh, this is, I'm not sure what to do with this. This piece here goes inside the droid, and the holes match up, and then the skirt, the bolts, um, I'll take these nuts off, they're just there to hold the bolts up while I was painting it and working on it. It goes here and it sandwiches between the plate and the skirt, but the center foot attaches right there. This is supposed to be printed in one piece. Of course, I don't have a printer big enough to print it in one piece, so I printed it in two, which was strong enough to support the weight. However, this is so, this is, I mean, I can hear cracking, pushing down at least a half inch past this crack. Um, there's no way I'm going to assemble it like that. I don't know that it would hold the weight on the center foot. It might just blow that section completely out. So at this point, the only thing I can think of apart from printing a new body is to get a Dremel with maybe a sanding drum or something on it and just tear this entire area open and fill it with epoxy. That's about my only idea right now as to how to fix it. I do not feel that the crack goes all the way through, but I'm getting crunching from the back as well. So I don't even know if doing that will be enough. In fact, now that I, I'm pushing on it inside all the way down to here, I'm hearing cracking, pushing from the inside. So this, the, it's not just a crack on the surface, it's, it's through the interior of this piece. Um, maybe it wouldn't have cracked if I had done thicker infill, I don't know. But at this point, it's either printing a new body um, all of the greebles come out, the electronics come out, the, everything that's not the white body, the doors come off. So, I mean, I could just reprint an entire new body, but I don't have the printer that I used to print it. I did the, um, cut for, um, 300 millimeter printers. I do have a Voron 2.4 350mm that I have hardware is all assembled, but I have to do the software side of it. There is a Prusa cut of this same build, and why I would have to do this build, um, I think there's now a Mark IV body that's out, and this is the Mark III, but everything is set up for Mark III. My electronics, how they're mounted, I don't know if the Mark IV uses the same mounting for the Greebles, so I'd have to do this same model. So I'd either have to do the Prusa cut, 
or get my Voron finally working and then reprint an entire new body on the Voron. So yeah, my idea is at this point to flip it upside down, try and dig out that area to explore how far the damage goes, fill it up with epoxy, And after filling it with epoxy, just kind of push on it and see how I feel about how strong it is. I'm limited to how much I can do inside. Because you can see here, there, these pieces here, this one here, cannot be removed. This um, is part of the body file. So I can't really get directly behind it. So that if I tore it up and filled epoxy on this side after it dried, I can't really go in on this back side and tear the same area up and fill epoxy in the back side. So it's got epoxy filling both sides of the crack. Um, this piece here is bolted in and can come out. And that gets me in this area that I can get to from the back. So yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, again, I'd have to just start cutting away at the bottom and see how much is messed up and needs to be replaced. The other thing I might be able to do is if I cut that entire area out, um, I might be able to put behind it some like blue painter's tape or a piece of cardboard um, on the back side and just cut it all the way through. Just go all the way through the body. So there's like a big rectangle that I just cut completely out of the body and then from the back put some kind of backing material and then epoxy on the top to fill in the whole area that I cut out. That might be a way to do it as well. But yeah, undiscovered damage. Um, I've been working away on the new skirt, um, I need the utility arms in so I can permanently get the top ring of the body in structurally before I want to put the legs back on. But yeah, just found this damage now that happened in November uh, when I fell and dropped him on the concrete. There's also a chance since I haven't done the dome. The dome I have is that one there is 2017 that I do not like. Then I might just say I'm not going to make an R2. I'm going to go with an R5. Since I have to redo the utility arms, I don't know. But any ideas anyone has on how to replace or repair that other than, like I said, cutting the thing out, filling it with an epoxy. Um, I'd be interested to hear your ideas.